Hey guys, Trevor Shadow Systems Technical Tuesday. We finally have our Plus 3 Magazine extension for the CR920X, this guy right here. So with that Plus 3 extension, this is an 18 plus 1 subcompact pistol. How many rounds do you need, people? 18 plus 1 in a slim, easy to carry package. This one with a uh, hollow sun and a light on it. I want to show you this magazine assembly. I want to explain to you a little bit how it works. Um, and by the way, I know you guys are waiting for magazines to come back in stock on the website. They're coming back in stock this week. Um, so you'll be able to get the magazine base pad assembly if you want, or just 15 round magazines this week. Uh, so sign up for the email list. It's in the description below. Okay. Um, let's first look at what comes in the pack. I mentioned this a moment ago. You get the follower, you get the spring, and you get the base pad assembly. Uh, the base pad assembly is very similar to the assembly that you would have seen in the past on the 13 round magazine for the CR920, for the smaller gun. Uh, it's about the same size. It's just shaped a little bit differently because obviously it's, it's interfacing with a CRX grip instead, okay? Um, it uses the same design that the CR920 base pad assembly has, which is a very cool um, locking design. It's actually self-locking. When the, when the magazine is inserted in the gun, if the magazine base pad somehow was unlocked, the grip actually locks it again, which is, which is part of the uh, reason it's a patented design. So I'll take it off first, and then we'll, we'll go through the assembly steps. The bottom of the base pad comes off from front to rear, and then this is the follower assembly. Um, I want to make a quick point actually about magazine springs. So the spring that's included with the Plus 3 extension is an extra power spring. All right, it's one additional coil. Um, I'm going to teach you something about springs because sometimes people will have trouble telling them apart. So this is the 15 round magazine that would come with the regular CR920X. I'll take out the assembly. So if you just look at these two side by side, it's like which one's which, right? Whenever you want to determine how many coils are in a spring, you count the back of the spring. That's usually the standard. So here's the one in the 15 round mag. It should be a 10 coil spring. One hiding behind the follower, two right there, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten coils to get to the bottom of the spring. Here is the one that's in the 18 round kit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so that extra coil is there to get a little extra power in that magazine stack. 18 rounds is a lot of rounds, especially in a subcompact gun. So we definitely recommend running it with the with the uh, 11 coil spring. Will it work with the 10? Probably with good technique, definitely with lighter ammo for sure, but we really recommend using the, uh, the 18 round spring. Okay, um, so to install, we're gonna just stick it in the tube. There is no steel base, pa base plate on, uh, on this assembly. That uh, open coil at the bottom just goes right against the plastic. We take our magazine body, which is gonna be installed from the rear to the front, like this, rear to the front. So I'm gonna compress the spring down with my thumb and then I'm just gonna get this started and slide it on from the back. It's super easy. When you install the clip or the front half, the front section of the base pad, you'll wanna just note, this is the locking pin. It's a trap, it's trapezoidal on one side, and then you'll see the post come out the other. You want that trapezoidal section flush because that's the locking section. So this would be the unlocked position, and you'll insert this with the post up toward the front of the magazine. So it's gonna go in like this, all right? just like that, and then you just lock it by pushing that down, okay? Um, and again, that gets pushed down also by the grip in, in case it's unlocked, but you really should just seat it fully. All right, so then we have now 18 rounds in the gun, folks. Um, a lot of capacity. This might be a good magazine to carry as your reload. If you're running the gun, uh, or if you're running magazines in pouches, it's obviously, obviously really easy to grab a, a, a magazine with a base pad on it. You get to your hotel room, you're traveling, this is, the, this is the magazine that's in the base pad, or this is the magazine that's in the gun, you know, at night, and then you carry the 15 or whatever, but that extra three rounds is, could be very nice to have if you need it. Um, okay, so that's a rundown of the Plus 3 base pad. Again, we have the magazines coming in stock on our website this week. We'll have the base pad kit there as well. Lots of other things coming for Black Friday, so be sure you sign up for our emails. And that's what we've got for you this week. We'll see you next time.